According to a fascinating study published in the name of Dr. Scott Alexander, in any given group of 20 people, three suffer chronic pain, three are alcoholics, one battles clinical depression, one has been molested or was a victim of domestic violence, and two have been abused as children. The majority of people have significant hurdles that challenge a conventional approach to happiness. But what really is that ever elusive sense of happiness that we all seek out? But we have more at our disposal, levels of contentment are lower than ever before. So what are we to do? Allow happiness to be reserved only for the carefree? Unfortunately, there is not one of us anywhere that doesn't have anything to worry about because no one is immune to life's trials and tribulations. Happiness is not about reaching a destination, but enjoying and finding meaning in the journey along the way. Achieving this requires a paradigm shift, simple in theory, hard in practice. As we approach Purim in the happiest month of the Jewish year, we sing Misha Nichnas Adar Marbim Besimcha. He who enters the month of Adar with joy has his joy increased. The word Besimcha, with happiness, has the same letters as the word Machshava, perspective. We only need to rearrange the letters and peer beneath the mask to realize that the root of happiness lies in our perspective. The story of Purim can only be celebrated in retrospect. While we cannot control the cards we are dealt, we can control how we play the hand. While we cannot dictate our circumstances with the right sense of perspective, we can dictate our reactions. Wishing you and your family true happiness in everything that you do. Purim Sameach.